Hey guys, so the first card we are going to be talking about is Abrupt Decay. I have a lot of these. I've been picking them up ever since they were released. And I do have only one playset of foils. But Abrupt Decay, for many MTG Finance people, is the number one speculation. And why is Abrupt Decay regarded so highly? Uh, it comes down to the fact it's not going to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015, which makes a huge, huge difference. And obviously, if you, cards that can be reprinted, even if they eventually are not reprinted, will be in danger of speculators kind of looking at the card and saying, hey, I, I don't want to speculate on something dangerous when I can speculate on something that I know is not going to be reprinted. Abrupt Decay is a very, very strong card. It is strong in Modern, it is strong in uh, even in Vintage, it sees play, it's strong in Legacy, it's strong in ED8. Uh, there's really not a format uh, that it would not be strong in, minus Standard, because it's not in Standard. So uh, when you look at Abrupt Decay, you have to look at its instant speed, a black, and a green. So those two colors are very popular. Right now they're being I believe the price is somewhat suppressed by the Delver decks doing so well. So this type of card is extremely good if people are playing, you know, Tomagoyf, they're playing uh, Dark Confidants, they're playing mid-range decks. This card gets very good in a Jund or a, you know, in a built which, you know, you essentially want to destroy, uh, you know, something fast. And right now, Delver, it, it hits Delver, it does hit cards in that deck, but that deck relies uh, heavily on Treasure Cruise, which, you know, in my opinion, if Treasure Cruise is good, this card becomes less good. But at the same time, it's a fantastic card. So it has very little downside because I believe the current price right now is being suppressed. And if you look at anybody's in MTG Finance and what they say is the number one speculation at this moment, it's got to be this card. Um, it is pretty much assumed by everyone and, and, and most people in MTG Finance that this will be the best card to hold on to at this particular period of time just because it's not going to be reprinted or there's no pending reprint possibility that we know of. And it's just that good.